Well, good evening, everybody. Sal Capano here for your stimulus update. Um, I just want to thank everybody. Uh, if you uh, hopefully you enjoyed my uh, Mount Charleston trip, uh, 45 minutes in northern Nevada up in the mountains. Yes, we do get snow up here, and uh, just about every year we get a snowstorm. Last year it wasn't, so it was nice to go play around uh, in the snow. Um, I had a real good time. Uh, people, you got to get out and venture and uh, hear yourself think, and uh, I did. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed my video. I had some good cigars and some good wine. If you're subscribing to my channel, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate you subscribing, and hopefully I um, you enjoy it. Um, and if you're new, hit the subscribe button right now. Hit the like button, um, and uh, bring you up to date on a lot of mostly on employment and stimulus. I haven't been on here talking about stimulus bills because there hasn't really been much talk, but there's been a little talk. Joe Biden and his team is are now really, uh, I just want to prepare everybody. They are now negotiating, um, starting some talk, and you should hear more this week probably by Thursday or Friday, and, I, and tune in to my video and I'll, uh, I'll let you know more. What I'm hearing right now is um, they are, um, Remember, they were talking about the down payment before, and I'm sticking to my words. They're talking about the $1,400. Just want to prepare people. The, the last two, the $1,200 and the $600, if you were making $75,000 individual, $150,000 as an adult, and $5,000 every thousand, it would drop. There's some talk, and only talk. I just want to prepare my, my viewers that there's a chance they're going to bring it down to $40,000. I don't know if that's $40,000 per couple. I would assume it's probably going to be 40,000 uh, individual 80 per couple I would assume that but just want to prepare everybody it's not a not official but there there's some talk um, they want to bring it down to um, give people who really really need it I'm not gonna get into whether it's the right thing or wrong thing tonight but I just want to prepare there's some possibility that they're gonna to, um, to do that but they are considering that um, they're also, you know, definitely considering the uh, unemployment extension of uh, 400 So another $100 in addition to the 300 and extend that until, until September. Um, the unemployment, uh, excuse me, the uh, minimum wage now, there's a little mis confusion, misconception. Some states uh, don't need the minimum wage. They're already at 15 and some need it. So they're really considered on uh, each state, which I kind of agree on that one. So there's, uh, there's still some talk on that they're definitely leading into an increase but some states are already there some states um it, it might be you know um uh, more of a of, of a federal um minimum wage so they're they're still negotiating that along um you might notice at the pump i just want to prepare everybody there's a great possibility probably 90 percent possibility gas prices probably go up 10 15 cents depending what state you live in up to 20 cents um, so I'm just letting everybody know that that's a good possibility um, real soon that you might notice the difference at the pump so um, I'll leave that up to you guys to discuss I'm not gonna get into that right now um, I want to talk about the taxes on unemployment I said this before in a previous video some of you probably have schedules um, soon remember um, your W if you're expecting if you worked for somebody part-time they still have until the 31st they extended that and now until like February 7th so if you haven't received it yet don't panic um, I'm not a tax advisor but if you took out the 10% you know um, of unemployment you're in better shape than people who didn't um, but you have to claim that money so if you made twenty thousand dollars for an example you have to claim that taxable income so don't panic people if you didn't claim the 10% there's a lot of write-offs particularly if you're self-employed, maybe your business is only open two, three, four months, you still have all those write-offs depending on your landlord, if they gave you assistance or not. There's gonna be some, uh, lots of write-offs. So it's not gonna be as bad as you think. I'm not a tax advisor, but you know, don't panic. But uh, I know here in Nevada, you go in your portal now, you can download it and print it out and have it ready. So it's definitely on there now. So they should have sent you an email on it to download that. So that should be already done. But just prepared, you have to add that to income. Stimulus, no. Unemployment, yes. All right, so um, there's also, I'm, I'm hearing uh, a little bit of uh, news on the Olympics. You know, um, that Japan now, because the pandemic is going a lot longer than anticipated, they might cancel the Olympics. So, 
just letting you know there might not be an Olympics. That's just some of the news that I've read today. Um, maybe they'll have it in, you know, other state, maybe Florida, you know, where they're wide open. Um, with the um, minimum wage, why it's so tricky is because some states are um, um, already, you know, wide open and others aren't. Same thing with unemployment. Like here in Nevada, we're still 25% capacity. Um, and as the governor talked, spoke the other night, there's no um, talk about them going up to maybe 50% or even 75%. So a lot of states are still 25 to 50% capacity where others like Florida and Utah are, are pretty much wide open. Um, but uh, so the people are saying, I, I really feel we're going to get a stimulus. It's, it's going to happen. It's probably not going to be ha happen as originally I, I, I thought it might be closer to the end of February than it is on Valentine's Day, maybe even sometime in March. So we have to see how that impeachment goes and if they can handle two things at once. And, uh, you know, and it's not a slam dunk, even though the Democrat, you have a Democrat president and, and, and uh, Senate and, and House, you know, they're still they're looking at the 1.9 trillion. They might lower that down a little bit and take some of the stuff out to make sure the money's not going to foreign countries like it did last time. So. But yes, if you're, if you're hearing it from me, we're probably going to see $1,400. Um, but just be prepared. It could lower down, like I said, to $40,000 per person or $80,000 per couple. Um, and then I don't know if they're going to go to $5, each 1000 deducted from there. But they are at least talking about it. That's good news. So prepare yourself. Um, I just want to prepare everybody. It could happen. It might not happen. It might just keep it the same. So we'll see. But... Um, that's your stimulus update. Um, you want to call it stimulus update number three or down payment, as they say, or um, continuing, um, you know, whatever you want to call it. So I'll have more news for you as the week goes on. We might have uh, some kind of probably all likelihood more news towards the end of the week. We're heading on as far as the um, um, how much you make and whatnot. Prepare at the pump to go up. Um, Remember, um, here in Nevada, um, I hear that they're um, trying to knock some more claims out that still haven't gotten paid. I'm hearing from some of my viewers that they're starting to get paid some, and there's still a lot of people who haven't. Um, hopefully, they can get this complete on air um, real soon. I just want to say, say hello to somebody, okay? Tomorrow's another day. Go play around in the snow. Or, or just get away a little bit. It's good for your mind. It really is. Exercising is good, but also just clearing your mind and doing something you like. You know, smoking a cigar, drinking a glass of wine or a scotch, reading a book. It's very good for us, not only through a pandemic. It's just good for the body. Do something you enjoy and uh, find something. If you're married or partners that you both can enjoy together once in a while. Uh, you know, it keeps it keeps the relationship going. And if you're a single person, it's good just to get out and adventure. Um, I, I've always, you know, enjoyed going out in nature and the woods and stuff. And for you who don't, you know, go see a movie or something. But it's good to step away sometimes and, and just digest everything. Um, so that, that, that's all I have right now. Um, once I get more, I'll keep you up to date. Once again, thank you for watching my video. Hit the like button, share the video, and I'll see you on my next video. Sal Capano here. Take care, everybody. God bless.